That's not too hard. So where's the fun in that? Inner HTML is nice. Um, we're going to learn how to actually deal with elements as JavaScript objects, uh, mostly because it's closer to the way that React works under the hood. Now in React, we don't have to worry about the fact that that's how it works under the hood. But still, it's nice to get used to dealing with DOM elements as objects. Every time we get it off the page with Query Selector, we've got that DOM element as an object. So we can also create them that way. If you want to do something like add an event handler, um, and you don't want to use on click or on submit or whatever, you want to actually add event listener, you need to get that element as an object. So there are advantages to actually having them as objects as opposed to creating them within our HTML. So let's start to head down that road. So how many elements did I create here when I did this inner HTML thing? How many brand new elements did I create between lines 11 and 15? Three, right? An LI and two spans. So I'm going to leave those there for now. And then I'm going to try to do the same thing using create element. So this is a DOM thing. So yeah, it starts with document. Document dot create element. Whoops. Not how you spell create. Document create element. Tell it what kind of element. So an LI. I'll say const item. It's a list item. So I'll save that there. Now it's completely empty, but it's an LI. You want to fiddle around in the console, see how this works? Uh, item equals document dot create element LI. Item, there it is. You want to stick some text into it? How would you do that? How would I stick some text into it? Text content. It doesn't matter that I created it from scratch instead of getting it off the page. All the same attributes are available to me. So I could say item.textContent equals, what would you have for breakfast, Madeline? Oak milk. Oak milk. It's a favorite of mine, too. Now let's look at our li, or our item, I mean. There it is. It's in there. We could use inner HTML too, couldn't we? Say I wanted to put oakmog inside a span. Item dot inner HTML equals span. What'd you have for breakfast, uh, Maggie? Uh, Me too. Not me, but hey, okay, whatever. You do you. Bacon, egg, and cheese. But I will have oatmeal for breakfast every day for months at a time. But when I'm teaching, it just takes too gosh darn long. So I get lazy. Bacon, egg, and cheese it is. Here we go. See? You can use inner HTML. You can use all that stuff. But I said no inner HTML. Cool. So I've got this empty li now. I want to create a span for the spell name. So how about I say const name span, something like that, uh, document.createElement. What kind of element is it? Span. Now it's empty. So I'll say name span dot text content equals spell name. Totally works, I hope. How about if we try to do that here? There's my span, name span, that text content equals magic missile. Let's a, check out my span again. There it is. But it's not actually in the LI, is it? I've got this LI, and I've got this span, but they're both just floating in space. Neither one of them is on the page, and they're not related to each other in any way. So the other new uh, method we learned is append child. So if I want to put the span inside 
the li, span inside the li. I can say item dot append child name span. And now it should be inside there. I could wait to create the list item until right before I use it. Seems prudent. So let's try it down here. Item. Huh? Item it's the li. Okay. Okay. So in my console, let's say item dot append child and see if this works. Uh, name span. Now let's look at item. Li. There it is. Now the bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich is still there. But that's okay. Because a pinned sticks it on the end, right? Cool. Now the li still isn't on the page, is it? So we wanted to put another span in there with the level. So let's do that. Uh, so before I deal with the item, I'm going to create both of my spans. There's name span, const uh, level span equals document dot create element. What kind of element is it? Just a span. You just tell it string what kind of element you're creating. It could be anything. Now I've got level span, and I want its text content to be the level that I got out of the form. And I want that to be part of my item too. Item dot a pin child level span. The order that will appear inside the li, the order I pin them in, right? So now it's got two spans, just like this one does. Not adding a space in there. No, it wouldn't be, would it? So if you want a space in there, um, you could create a text node. Um, so besides creating text elements, you can actually create. So any, any let's see. Uh, here's, an, here's an easy way to demonstrate this. So if I inspect what's on the page right now, you see I've got a span, then I've got comma space. So text is also like a separate node in the DOM, but it's called a text node. So you'll see it's like a whole separate thing. So you can create those from scratch using JavaScript too, um, or you could use inner HTML to make it easy. You could do that, or we could just style them in such a way that there is space between them using margin or something else like that which is probably what I would do because they don't line up nicely now anyway. So yeah, there they are. They're going to be smashed right together. That's all right. But they're not on the page, are they? So how could we put them on the page? Where do we want to put them? Y yeah, inside the list, right? Uh, I call this thing spells div, but it's not a div anymore, is it? Spells div, document query selector, ID spells. Where is that? Here it is. That's a UL, right? Spells div is not a good name for that. I'm going to call this list because that's what this actually is. If you go changing stuff, change your variable names to match because that was not an accurate name. So it's a list. That's what I'll get when I query selector for hash spells. So I want it to be in the list, right? So before, we just set the inner HTML of the list. Now, we want to append a child to the list, right? What do we want to put in there? All of that stuff, but I should only have to append one thing. Item. The item, right? Because now the item already has the spans as children. So I can say list dot append child item, and I hope I get something very similar to what I had before, except, yeah, there's not going to be comma space in between them anymore. So let's see if that happens. Enter a spell name, mimic level three. There we go. Mimic cubed. What's that? Oh, just list append item. A uh, pin child item. Oh. Yeah. Assuming that you did, in fact, change your variable name. 
Speaking of things that are no longer named accurately, this is called change heading, which is not at all what it does, right? Your functions, first of all, naming functions. It's good to name them verbs or verb phrases because they do stuff, right? Um, I'm just going to say handle submit because that's its job. Its job is handle, handling the submission of the form. Now, it's doing kind of a lot right now. Um, it's also creating elements from scratch and so on. That seems like a bit much for one function, but we're going to get there. For right now, we are now creating these things with um, create element and append child instead of inner HTML. So that's good. Does it still work? It won't right now, will it? I just renamed the function, so let's try again. Blah, 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 blah. Enter. Explode. Change heading is not defined. That's right, it's not there anymore. So make sure I change my add event listener line with the new name, handle, submit. Refresh. Does it still work? 